Hey guys, last week I watched a video by RCL Beauty 101 where she put on her makeup with a Christmas tree. She challenged anyone who was watching that video to also put on makeup with a Christmas tree. So today, that's exactly what I will be doing. I will be putting on my makeup with a Christmas tree. Let's get right into the video. I tried removing all of my makeup with some makeup remover, but I have some eyeliner left on my eyes as you can see, but that is the best I can do. I'm going to go ahead and start putting on primer using this ornament. Honestly, this is the best way to do makeup. I mean, this ornament is actually working pretty well. You know what? Maybe I should start putting my makeup on all the time with some ornaments. Honestly, who needs brushes when you got a Christmas tree? I'm not gonna lie, this kind of feels good on my face. <laughs> so weird. It's like a massage. Next, I'm going to use another ornament to put on some foundation. You know what? This really gets in between the crevices of my nose. I'm going to have to look in the viewfinder here because I don't have a mirror. Just going to blend, 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 blend. I'm going to put a little bit more foundation on this ornament. You know the best thing about putting on foundation with an ornament is it doesn't suck up all the foundation like a sponge does. Because every time I use a sponge, it always sucks up all my foundation and then I have to put more on the sponge. And with this ornament, you don't have that problem. The only problem I'm having is it keeps slipping out of my hand. And my hand keeps getting foundation all over it. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It's going better than I thought it would. Except I got a little bit on my hat, but that's okay. This is how all the beauty gurus should do their makeup. This is actually pretty good. Huh. I'm shocked. It doesn't look that bad. Next, I'm going to put on some blush using a tree branch. All I'm going to do is cut off this branch and rub it on my face with some blush. Yeah, that sounds normal. Just one second.
One more second. Well, it's a lot easier said than done. Two hours later. Change of plans. I'm going to have to leave the branch on the tree and dip it in the blush. And then rub it on my face. You know what? I don't even need blush. All I have to do is rub this tree branch against my face for an hour and then my face will be completely red. This does not feel good. Ouch. Ouch. It's kind of painful. Wow. That does not look good at all. It looks like I just rubbed my face against the tree, which I just did, so I guess this look is perfect. This is what I'm going for. So I'm going to just put some blush and do it on my other side of my face. Ouch. I mean, if you want your face to look red, I mean, this is the best option. Just rub a tree up against your face. This takes the term tree hugger to a whole new level. Of course I love trees. I mean, it may be fake, but I love trees. I rub them on my face all the time. Next, you just want to Blend that out with an ornament. This is really rosy cheeks. I mean, it is Christmas time, and they always say Santa has rosy cheeks, so if you want to be Santa Claus, just rub a tree against your face. Next, I'm going to put on some eyeliner. Does this count? I really hope so because I don't want to go to the hospital and have to tell them that I poked myself in the eye with the Christmas tree trying to do my makeup. That would be quite interesting for the ER people. But I'm sure they've seen worse. All you guys should tag RCL Beauty 101 on Twitter and let her know that I took on her challenge by putting on makeup with a Christmas tree. My Twitter name is Punk Princess One, if you guys don't know what my Twitter name is. I'll put it right here. Next is the top of my eye. Wow, this is gonna be really difficult. There's a mailman like right outside delivering a package at my door and my window is wide open. He can see me while doing this. Oh no, I'm messing up the eyeliner. I knew this part was gonna be tricky doing my eyeliner with a Christmas tree. Eyeliner is already difficult enough to do. Just doing it with a tree is even harder. Yes, it doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that good either, but you know. Oh. All right. Well. I always have this weird habit when I'm putting on eyeliner, I want to just open my mouth like this, like it's going to help me, but really it doesn't do anything, it just makes me look weird. That doesn't look too bad, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's, I mean, I just look really emo with all this eyeliner, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. 
I look really emo anyways. So next I will be putting on some mascara. I'm going to dip a tree branch in my mascara. That's a lot of mascara, but that's all right. Sorry, you guys can't really see anything. It's really difficult holding a tree branch up to your eye, trying not to get anything in my eye. I already have eye problems. Don't need to make it worse, but whatever. Next is my bottom lash. Last but not least is some lip gloss. I'm just going to put it on a tree branch like this. This is probably the weirdest thing I've ever done. And I've done some really weird things on this channel. So make sure to subscribe for quality content. <laughs> this looks like I'm making out with a tree. <laughs> what can I say? I love trees. Well... <sighs> Just gonna use this ornament to clean this up a little bit where I made this mistake. Alright guys, well this is the final look. It doesn't look that bad. The eyeliner is a little messed up, but what can I say? I put it on with a Christmas tree. Make sure to tag RCL Beauty 101 to let her know I took on her challenge. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell at the top of my page so you don't miss a new video. And make sure to leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? If you don't celebrate Christmas, then what is your favorite thing about this season? Bye!